Assalamualaikum and good day boys and girls. I am Puan Asra from Sekolah Kebangsaan Lembah Keramat. Ha, with me today is Encik Saiful Amril Sailan, our sign language interpreter from SMPKV Shah Alam. How are you today? I hope you are doing well. The topic for our lesson today is time. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to first identify the clock hand on the clock face. Second, identify and state half, quarter and three quarters based on the clock face. Third, say and write time in hour, half an hour and a quarter hour using an analog clock. And fourth, solve problems involving daily life situations. Make sure your, you have your textbook, notebook and stationery with you. Look at this slide. This is the clock face. There are numbers 1 to 12 on the clock face. This is an hour hand. The short hand is the hour hand. This is a minute hand. The minute hand is longer than the hour hand. The long hand is the minute hand. Look at this slide. The clock face shows half an hour. The word half was introduced in fractions. Any objects or things that is divided into two equal parts or pieces or sizes is equal to half. Look at the clock face. It is divided into two equal parts. Blue part and the white part. The clock face shows half an hour. What is half an hour? Half an hour means the minute hand moves Half of the clock face in clockwise from number 12 to number 6. Now, let's look at this slide. The clock face shows quarter of an hour. The word quarter was also introduced in fractions. Any objects or things that is divided into four equal parts or pieces or sizes is equal to quarter. Look at the clock face. It is divided into four equal parts. One blue part and three white parts. The clock face shows quarter of an hour. What is quarter of an hour? Quarter of an hour means the minute hand moves one over four of the clock face in clockwise from number 12 to number 3. 1 over 4 of an hour is called quarter of an hour. 
Next, let's look at this slide. The clock face shows three quarters of an hour. You have learned about three quarters in fractions too. Now, let's look at this clock face. It is divided into four equal parts, three blue parts and one white part. The clock face shows quarter of an hour. What about three quarters of an hour? Three quarters of an hour means the minute hand moves three over four of the clock face in clockwise. From number 12 to number 9. Three over four of an hour is called three quarters of an hour. Let's try these questions. Look at the parts that are shaded blue on the clock faces. Which clock shows three quarters of an hour? Ha! Good! The answer is clock A. The clock face is divided into four equal parts. Three parts are shaded blue. Which clock shows quarter of an hour? Ha! Very good! The answer is clock B. The clock face is divided into four equal parts. Ha! Only one part is shaded blue. Which clock shows half an hour? Ah! Excellent! The answer is clock C. The clock face is divided into two equal parts. Only one part out of two parts is shaded blue. Let's learn how to say and write time. Look at the clock face. What is the time? The hour hand indicates the time. When the hour hand is pointing at number two, it shows two o'clock. The minute hand indicates minutes at the time. When the minute hand is pointing at number 12, it shows an hour sharp. So, the time shown on the clock face is 2 o'clock. Look at this clock face. What is the time? The hour hand is between 8 and and nine. It's past eight, but it has not reached nine. The minute hand is pointing at number six. It shows half an hour. The time shown on the clock face is half past eight. What about this clock face? What is the time? The hour hand is between 1 and 2. It's past 1, but it has not reached 2. The minute hand is pointing at number 3. It shows a quarter of an hour. The time shown on the clock face is a quarter past one. 
Let's try more questions. What is the time shown on clock A? The hour hand is between 9 and 10. It passed 9, but it has not reached 10. The minute hand is pointing at number 6. It shows half an hour. That's correct. The time shown on the clock face is half past 9. Ah, what is the time shown on clock B? The hour hand is between 7 and 8. It's past 7, but it has not reached 8. The minute hand is pointing at number 3. It shows a quarter of an hour. The time shown on the clock face is a quarter past 7. That's great! What is the time shown in this picture? The minute hand and the hour hand are at the same number, 12. Yes, brilliant! The time shown on the clock face is 12 o'clock. You have learnt how to read time on the clock face. Let's try to solve these problems. Look at this picture. Zulaika is helping her mother in the kitchen. What time is it? Can you see the clock on the wall? The hour hand is between 11 and 12. It's past 11 it has not reached 12. The minute hand is pointing at number 3. It shows a quarter of an hour. So, Zulaika is helping her mother in the kitchen at a quarter past 11. Is it for breakfast, lunch, tea? Or dinner? Very good! That's correct! Zulaika and her mother are preparing lunch because it's nearly noon. Now, let's solve the second problem. Lina reads her storybook before bedtime. Look at the clock. What time is it? The hour hand is between 9 and 10. It passed 9 but it has not reached 10. The minute hand is pointing at number 6. It shows half an hour. So, Lina is reading her storybook at half Past nine. Lina reads her storybook at half past nine at night before her bedtime. So, did you have fun during the lesson? Let's recall what you have learned. At the end of this lesson, you have learned to first. Identify the clock hand on the clock face. Second, identify and state half, quarter and three quarters based on the clock face. Third, say and write time in hour, half an hour and a quarter.
quarter hour using an analog clock. And fourth, solve problems involving daily life situations. That's all for today. See you again in the next lesson. Bye!